Oh. <sighs> Frick. You guys are thinking one of two things right now. Either number one, this kid is seriously hungover, or number two, he's sick. But I'll tell you what, it's not the first one. And I hate saying that because I never get sick. So, woo, anyways, welcome back to the Chan Chan, guys. Be sure to like this video. Be sure, if you're new, to subscribe to the Chan Chan. I'm sorry for the low energy. I started getting sick Thursday. Um, Friday was pretty rough. Yesterday, I just had this gnarly headache. It's like a gnarly just head cold, stuffy nose. Can't really smell, taste. I was really tired. Uh, my head hurts. I know what you're thinking. You've got the COVID-19. Well, maybe I do, I don't really know. But um, yeah, Thursday I biked to try to get over whatever this was. Friday I went on another bike ride, just out here. Try to get over whatever this was, and then now this morning it is rough. I'm feeling like garbage. Um, that being said, you're probably wondering what's today's video gonna be about. Luckily, I have filmed something which is kind of a surprise. I don't even know what I'm saying. <clears throat> I'm pretty out of it. When I was doing Counter Club Challenge, I was running all the way through Lucadia and Encinitas. There was the store that I passed and there was something that I would see in the window of this store. And I'm like, I want that. And a couple days ago, I got that. Let's go ahead, roll that footage, and then we'll uh, pick back up. We don't compromise our goals. When I say I'm gonna post videos twice a week, I'm gonna post videos twice. t-shirts in my car. Let's try to figure this out. So stoked. We are going to take the old one off the trainer. Hey, if anyone wants a bike, I'm selling my old one. Put the new one on the trainer. Now I have to take the pedals off, put them on my new bike and put the speed and cadence sensor on my new bike and put my new bike in the trainer. Wow. It's a good thing all pedals are uh, universal, it seems like, because no issues. This piece that goes through the back wheel, through the back hub, uh, in order to connect to the trainer needs to be different. See, this has like a little lever. Instead of the pull lever, it needs to be like the old one where there's just two knobs so it can go in the trainer. Does that make any sense? See, so this one you just... We're good. Pull apart and it needs to be like the other one. See, it needs to have more of a, more of a notch so it can go in the trainer. It, it all makes sense. Freshy. Now, in she goes. Maybe, maybe not. This is why you always save spare parts that come with things like this, there's these little things that go inside here to make it smaller. Okay, boom, clip. See, so now it's smaller. And I'm gonna put it right here. We're good. All right, we're good to ride. Just gotta get my gear on. And then we're gonna ride, right? Gonna mix up some electrolytes, wherever they are. True Wild Hydrate. I also need to attach my cadence and speed sensor to this bike. Take it off that bike, put it on this bike. I got the wheel set up with my cadence and speed sensor. The wheel is 2,096 millimeters, so you have to put that into the watch, which connects to the cadence and speed sensor, which gives me my speed, my cadence, all that good stuff. 
I lowered the seat a little bit. Um, I know that when your foot is all the way down in full stride, <laughs> you want a slight bend. So this feels good. When I go prone, it feels good. Let's do this. All my ears are right here and right here. It used to be right here. Now they're right here. So I don't have to breathe. That was, oh, there's a little RC plane in the air. An hour of cycling, an average of 26.1 miles per hour, and I got 26.15 miles covered. Cross training like that is so, so effective if you're any type of athlete, whether you run, having something else in your arsenal. For me, it's like biking and it's soon gonna be swimming, being that I'm training for this triathlon, but it's just so good to mix it up. You're working different muscle groups, it's a different type of cardio, it's a different type of difficult, um, and it's just different. So really, really recommend if you guys are runners and you watch this channel, or maybe you're bikers or hikers, try something different. It doesn't have to be biking, doesn't have to be running, um, but just mix it up. See, on Thursday, I started feeling this way. <sighs> Headache, stuffy nose, tired. And then Friday was even worse. And then Saturday comes along, which is today, and I feel like garbage. Let's see, now we're gonna talk about over use not recovering i talk about recovering and i'm so bad at it myself because i go 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 <sighs> okay oh man i'm gross i know i get it dude allergies if you guys have ever had allergies they're by far like not to complain but I wouldn't say like the worst thing, but it's just like the most annoying thing. Just like constant watery eyes, runny nose, like or, like itches inside. You're like, get out. Bring me back to life. And I got all my vitamins right here. Some adaptogens in here. Vitamin D, C. Mmm. Oh. Dude, I am so tired. I just got back from the beach. I have a little bit of the chills. Um, we're gonna try to sweat this out. I'm gonna do some more biking, see how it goes. Maybe an hour, hour and a half. Okay, let's go. feel sick but I wanted to do something to try to get this cold out of me I did 30 miles 75 minutes just easy pace 23.7 miles per hour average 30.07 miles took me an hour and 16 minutes and 11 seconds mostly 
like basically easy to warm up pace. I didn't even hit an aerobic uh, zone at all, which is good. I just wanted to sweat, so get the legs going. Beach felt nice. I think really it's just time to shower, rest. doesn't come back up tonight let's hope anyways my hack for meals is I like to get away with volume can you believe this is only let's see 160 calories in the dressing this comes out to below 200 calories and look how much volume I get for this salad insane nutrient dense mm, calorically light I guess you can say nutrient dense though now this is the real game changer I did rice cauliflower Brussels sprouts mushrooms with lean ground turkey 93% lean 7% fat and then I topped it with this avocado cilantro dressing sort of thing, some salt and pepper. Now the whole meal, can you guys guess how many calories are in the entire meal? I'm gonna put it on the screen. Entire meal is 775 calories, uh, 58 grams of protein, 52 carbohydrates, and 33.5 grams of fat. There's a lot of fiber, I didn't add that up, but from all the vegetables, there's a ton of fiber. I would say probably anywhere between 10 and 20. I could get the fat down, but I didn't have avocado oil spray, so I had to use olive oil, which was like 14 grams of the fat came from the olive oil. So, could get lower on the overall calories and fat. It could have been like 600 calories, but I'd use olive oil. This is gonna be super tasty. This like avocado lime cilantro sauce. Let's see. <coughs> yeah, it's too hot. <coughs> I'll start with the salad. My dressing's good, it's got no fat, it's just carbs. That's good. I always put salt and pepper in my salads. You guys do that? I feel like this is gonna, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow feeling like a new man. It's Sunday, um, I didn't wake up feeling like a new man. I'm gonna eat, it's uh, 8.30. I'm gonna get this down. Try to get to bed early I still have to edit this video thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel Chan. be sure to like this video for the algorithm um <clears throat> jesus i will see you guys on thursday for a much better video and hopefully i don't have whatever i have whether it's coronavirus or a head cold i don't know hopefully this is gone that's all i got guys peace <coughs> Go on. Go on.